Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio. Some weeks ago in my Audrey Hepburn doll repaint video I have asked you to give me some more names. Who else would you like to see here on this channel in a doll format? You've left the really numerous comments. Thank you so much guys. It took me probably a couple of weeks to try to calculate the results of the votings and the winner of it has become Marilyn Monroe. So my very first intention was of course to take a Frankenstein doll because she looks a little bit like Marilyn and to turn her into Marilyn Monroe. But if you watch my channel already for a while, a little bit longer, then you know that I had already repainted on this channel called Marilyn Pinup Star and that doll looked a lot like Marilyn Monroe. I didn't really try to make exactly Marilyn, but she looked like it in the end. So right now it's not that interesting for me to do it again because I kind of know how the end result would look. So I thought it would be really cool to find a doll that really looks like Marilyn Monroe, some special edition doll that really has Marilyn's face mold and to work on that kind of a doll. So I started to look online, on eBay mostly, but you know almost all of these special edition Marilyn Monroe dolls were made in the 90s or even in the 80s and now you can find them just as collectioner's items, you know, in the original boxes, never unboxed, untouched and they cost of course 150, 200, 250 euro and it's not really about money even, I just don't think it's completely correct to take a doll that was nicely preserved for 20 or 30 years, unbox it, remove her face, cut her hair, just destroy it completely, to play with it and to create my own doll. I could even call it unethical in some way, you know, but anyway I kept looking and then I have found my ideal Marilyn. This is exactly one of those exclusive special edition Marilyn Monroe dolls made in 1997, so it's 22 years ago, but this doll had no box, there are certain imperfections I will show you later, so this doll is not really in some collectioner's state. This doll was probably displayed somebody in someone's, you know, bedroom or living room or something like this. Because it's in a very good state, it's not like that plate <laughs> doll, but it's not an ideal collectioner edition state and it also costs just 50 euro with the delivery cost, I think. So now let's take a closer look at this doll and I'm honestly seriously surprised with the quality. Let's first take a look at her face and you can see of course immediately that she has an amazing quality makeup. It's much more fine, it's much more detailed than regular dolls. Let's compare it for example to one of Monster High dolls I have here nearby. Voila, this is the difference and both of these dolls were made by Mattel. <laughs> I was also seriously amazed by the quality of her outfit because it's really the first time I see it on a factory quality doll. Her dress, it's really, it's just a masterpiece, it's an absolutely like my mom's quality dress, I can tell you. First of all, it has two layers. This you already never see on Barbie and Monster High dolls nowadays. Second of all, just look at all these details. People who are busy a little bit with sewing, they would of course see the quality of this piece of cloth, really. Look at it. But now let's also talk a little bit about the minus points because there are some. And the first and the biggest one is the discoloration. You can see it. This body part is made out of some sort of a plastic that even feels a little bit like porcelain in some way, you know, this standard Barbies from the 90s, they all were made out of this kind of material. And this kind of plastic has become yellow. The arms, the legs and the head are made out of regular rubber and they still have their original color. But this part I will have to repaint to make it look exactly the same like the rest of the body. And another thing is not really like a minus point, but something that I would like to solve immediately is the fact that her hair are completely, I don't know, soaked in some glue or hairspray or some gel, something like this, because it's really something 
like old hair styling products it feels you know like hair that were styled 20 years ago and here it even looks a little bit like greenish in some way so and this is actually where i'm going to start i'm going to wash this doll nicely and first of all i'm going to wash her hair trying to get rid of all these styling products and while I was washing her hair, I eventually solved the mystery of this excessive amount of styling products on her head. Look what's happened here. In some tragic way, this doll has lost a huge part of her hair here on top. And then someone has just cut this head with a knife, you see? Just on cross or something like this. And installed there just pushed in some absolutely random hair of another color and I see that this hair voila here we go that this hair is a little bit even painted or something like this they probably try to get the same a little bit yellowish color like her original hair is so yeah <laughs> here we go we have a little bit more work to do than I've expected because we clearly have to reroute her hair. Theoretically, I could reroute just this part, but I don't have really matching hair color because you see, I have these two kinds of blonde hair, and both of them are much more light and cold shade than this doll's hair. But honestly, I think that this lighter blonde would look even better, or for Marilyn Monroe. So, let's just reroute her hair completely, but first of all, I'm going to cut her hair off. And now I'm going to make her head soft using my hair dryer, like always. Now I'm going to take my tweezers and remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the head. Now let's remove her face with pure acetone and then we should think how to solve this situation just tell me who who would do this if there is something bad happened to your doll don't cut her head in 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 stars like don't do it why and why is it black even you know i think i i kind of know what's happened this part of her head this crown this this part was probably burned in some way probably it was stained next to some lamp or something like this because you see this rubber is brown even in the inside so we have a lot of work today much more than i expected shouldn't they mention things like this on ebay in their listings because it's very nice they burned part of the doll's hair they replaced it with something random, glued it like hell. No, oh yeah, they sell it for seriously less money. But anyway, you should explain why does it cost less? Because of the discoloration of the body and because she has no shoes or because because of this, because of this maybe, yeah? I don't know. Again, for me it's not a problem, but for another person it would be a real disappointment. But you cannot see it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's try to fix these cracks with hot glue. Normally it works with smaller cracks, like sometimes on hair splits. No, normally it's supposed to work in this bizarre situation as well. And I think 
think it looks pretty good and strong after all. Now I'm going to cover it with a couple of layers of acrylic paint to hide all these burnt spots. And then I'm going to reroot her head using this frozen saran hair. Here is her new hair a couple of hours later. Yeah, it looks really good, I think. So now I'm going to add tacky glue to fix all this hair inside of the head. And then I'm going to let this glue dry for sure for 24 hours. Okay, the first problem has been solved and now let's think what to do about this discoloration on her body. What is the problem here? This doll has this old-fashioned Barbie legs. They are rubber and they're bending like this. This is how it was in my childhood. This is how my first Barbie was. But these kind of legs you cannot really repaint with acrylic paint nor with Mr. Super Clear Sealant Plus pastels because after we bend her knees a couple of times like this all our paint is going to crack and fall off. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix acrylic paint to match the color of her legs. And then with this acrylic paint I'm going to cover her body, this torso part, her arms and also her face because you know after all this doll wears a very long dress and if there is any tiny color difference between her legs and her face for example nobody would never see it and if I for example cover with acrylic paint just this body part that has become yellow then there might be a slight difference between her body and her arms and her body and her face and this difference is of course quite crucial so first of all let's remove this glossy top from the body and from the arms using some nail buffers And I have suddenly a really good news, guys! This simple sanding, removing the top layer from this body, has actually solved the discoloration problem. Look, it's not yellow anymore, the body looks exactly the same color like the face and the hands, the arms. And it means that I can clean the body now with an acetone-free nail polish remover, then spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I can start drawing her new face. So after applying a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, I'm finally ready to start working on her face. I've saved of course a couple of reference pictures on my phone and you know, we all have seen these reference pictures so many times in our lives, really hundreds, thousands of times probably, that right now I feel very excited to try to recreate one of these pictures myself. So I'm going to start, like always, with sketching her eyes and eyebrows. Her eyes I want to draw kind of half close to create this iconic Marilyn sexy eye look. And the eyebrows were much more arched than back in the days. Compare, for example, Marilyn's eyebrows to the eyebrows of Daenerys Targaryen we've made a week ago. Yeah, it's a big difference. <laughs> 
For contouring, I'm going to use this very, very natural colors pastels and now I'm going to simply repeat all the shadows that I see on the reference picture. And you know, I really think that they took this picture as a reference to create this doll's face because really all the lines, all the shadows, everything matches just perfectly. This layer I'm going to protect with Mr. Super Clear sealant and now let's repeat all the shadows again to make them even deeper. Then I'm taking a pencil and I'm drawing all the shadows much more detailed and I'm also drawing the shadows around her nose to make it look like real Marilyn's nose. Now let's blend the pencil with Q-tips and then I'm going to add a touch of blush to her face. The last layer I've protected again with the sealant and now I'm going to draw the rest of her face. This doll's face is of course really small even compared to Monster High dolls and it means that her eyes are really so tiny that it will be probably easier for me today first to draw completely the white of her eyes, you know, with shadows, with everything and then a couple of layers later I'm going just to draw the irises on top of it. Then the eyebrows I also need to make more realistic with tiny hairs. And of course we need to draw her iconic red lips. This layer I have again repeated twice to reach the best coverage of the pencils and now I'm going to draw the highlights and the shadows and I'm going to start with applying the grey shadows to the white of her eyes. Then I do the same to her smile, to her teeth and to the lips.
And now I'm going to take a light pencil and I'm going to draw first of all the highlights around her eyes, around her eyebrows. I will also add some highlights to her nose, to the lips also of course. This layer I've protected with the sealant and now let's finally draw the blue irises. And she looks immediately absolutely alive, guys. And now it's time to take my extremely sharp black pencil and draw the eyelashes. And this time I'm going to draw and the upper and the bottom eyelashes as well. Because as I told you already, these eyes are extremely small, they're really tiny, and absolutely any kind of doll fake lashes would look really way too big, <laughs> probably bigger than her eyelids, or you know, she would have like four very thick eyelashes on each eye, so I have to draw them this time. Okay, now let's protect the face with two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I'm going to draw the brightest highlights by adding white acrylic paint to her eyes and lips. Of course she's still missing her iconic beauty mark. I'm going to use this dark brown acrylic paint for it, but first of all I'm going to find the very right spot of it using some regular pencil. Okay, now the face looks complete to me and she looks so realistic, guys, really, it's crazy. But now it's time to blush her body using exactly the same pastels like I already used to blush her face. Now I'm going to put her head and the body back together and then we're going to style her hair. Oh. So guys, I had to stop filming because there is happened something really, really, really bad. I cannot say I put too much effort or something like this, you know. I have some experience in this, but this is what's happened to me today. It's happened to me for the very first time in my doll artist career. This doll's neck is just simply cracked. You know, I have quite a lot of old Barbie dolls here in my house and I brought the whole bunch of them here. You see, all these four dolls, they have exactly the same body type like this Marilyn's body. It's this old-fashioned Barbie body type. But unfortunately, and you can see it, all these four bodies, and I still have a couple of them upstairs, all of them are way 
too tanned compared to this original Marilyn's body. And I thought even to use one of them anyway, maybe to repaint it in some way, I don't know, try at least something to save the situation. And when I've tried to remove her original head, what do you think has happened? Exactly the same, you see, I cracked her neck as well. And honestly, my very first Barbie had exactly the same neck problem. After a couple of years, it was glued probably, I don't know, 50 times. So I could say that probably this kind of plastic, like I call it porcelain plastic, is quite a problematic material because I never had no issues like this with Monster High doll bodies and with regular contemporary body dolls. But you see, with these dolls, I have approximately 10 on 10 bad result. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, look at this doll. I haven't tried to remove her head. I've done nothing to it. Of course, it's secondhand Barbie, so someone used to play with it and her neck is cracked as well. Let's check the others. No, this one is okay. And this one is also okay. But yeah, there is some problem with this kind of material. And the only two dolls that I have found that would fit the original's Marilyn skin tone have become these two Barbie dolls. You can see that the skin color looks pretty similar this time, but there is another problem. Because you see, these dolls, they have already more contemporary, more modern Barbie body type. But it doesn't look like we have that much choice today, guys, because this one is broken, these are too tanned, so we have to continue with one of these bodies, and I have chosen this one, because this doll is a little bit shorter, you see, it's a little bit, also another, the third body type, this doll looks a little bit smaller. Oh, and by the way, this doll has some damage on her fingers, on her hands, probably some cat or maybe kids or something like this. So I'm going to continue with this body. I've already sprayed it with two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. Now I'm going to blush it with the same pastels and then we will finally style her hair. I hope, I hope, because this makeover today really is full of surprises. <laughs> So guys, this time I was able to connect the head and the body back together and avoid the drama and it means it's time to style her hair. This doll is called Happy Birthday Mr. President and of course this doll is copying this Marilyn's look. And it means today we are going to recreate the same hairstyle, kind of mid-long bob curled inside and a little bit longer bangs curled another direction. So first of all, I'm going to make her hair more, you know, flat, hanging more down. And for this, I'm going to use my hair dryer, of course, but many people are using hot wash and it works as well. <laughs> This is how it looks now. And the next step is cutting her hair shorter and I'm going to cut it approximately like till here where the neck becomes shoulders. Anyway, it's always better to cut a little bit longer because <laughs> you never know, we already have enough drama and tragedy in this video today. And now I'm going to take my hair curler and I'm going to curl, like turn all her hair inside. And 
then her fringe I style in another direction. And this is how it looks in the end, pretty close to the reference picture, I think. Now let's add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then we will be able to put everything together, finally. I have washed her dress so it smells fresh and looks nice and I was very lucky by the way that this kind of dress fits both kind of Barbie dolls bodies and the older one and the new one so I don't need to do like serious adjustments and her look I want to complete with this pair of black elegant shoes and now let's finally take a look at the end result now it's even kind of strange that I like this doll's face before the repaint because it, now it looks just some regular plastic doll next to our real Marilyn. You know, I love all my dolls, I spent a lot of time working on each of them, so my last doll is always my favorite because she still feels kind of like my best friend I know so well. But this doll will probably stay my favorite for a very, very, very long time. Because, you know, working with a real face mold has become, in some way, a real step up for me. So I have even decided to keep her in my studio. I had too many ups and downs working on her, so I'm not really ready to sell her and to let her go immediately. I promise, in the future I will make another one and I will put her for sale. And after all, I think it's even good we needed to replace the completely disproportional old body with huge shoulders and breasts to the more normal and more natural look in the new body. And now I'm still going to take an instant picture of this doll to hang it on my whiteboard. So guys, it was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, I post new doll makeovers every week Friday, hit the bell button of course and I will see you very soon next week Friday, bye!